now i am going to discuss you about mass assignment in laravel mass assignment refers to the ability to assign multiple attributes of a model in a single statement it allows you to pass an array of data to a model and have it automatically assign the corresponding attributes to ensure the security laravel provides two mechanisms one is fillable and another one is guarded so i am now first show you i will show you both the items but first i am going to show you what is fillable the fillable property is actually an array defined on the model that specifies who is attributes can be mass assigned if uh, you list some attributes and mass assign for example only the attributes list that you will list into the fillable array only those will be used as mass assignment any other attributes that you did not list into that fillable array those will just be ignored in this way you can explicitly white list the attributes which can be set via the mass assignment in order to uh, show all the things i am first going to open my model you see that i use the student model here in order to do the task that i already have shown you here now for the mass assignment practice what i will do you see that in the model there is a use has factory after that i will do one thing as i am going to make some fields mass assignment so here i will use that protected then fillable you will have to use protected fillable equal to here you will have to assign an array and here you will list the attributes for example in my case there are some attributes name email age country etc like so if i give here that name and email will be mass assigned that means if we give here name and email into the array that means these two attributes will be mass assigned so i will show uh, what is actually how to work with the mass assign but just remember that if i just use like this which attributes i will list into the fillable that means these attributes are especially mass assign so you can mass assign these att attributes when you will update the student or when you will create a new student that i will show you with practical example don't worry another one is guarded there is another one that is protected protected guarded what is actually guarded the guarded property is an array that is defined on the model that specifies who is attribute should not be mass assigned for example you see that here name and email these two attributes i tell that this will be mass assigned because i put those into the fillable and in the guard i can specify that other attributes for example age and country will not be mass assigned so i can use like this age and country so these attributes you will not be able to mass assign if you put those under any guarded properties normally we do not use both the things we normally use this one or this one so if i do not give like this only we use this that means only the property i will list here that will not be mass assigned otherwise all other attributes you can use as mass assignment so just remember that any attribute not listed in the guarded array those will be treated as fillable just think like that if you do not list anything into here that will be fillable sometimes uh, to make all attribute fillable what you can do you can make it empty if you write like this that protected guarded equal to empty that means all the attributes are automatically fillable i hope you have understood the main idea but without practical example i am sure if you are new in this you will not be able to understand so i am going to show you with practical example so that you can understand so here you see that protected guarded i use empty now you see that when we created a new student we use this method like this so i'm going to copy and here i am going to give public function public function 
mesh assignment so i just call it mesh okay here in the web route i am going to copy and paste it and here i am going to call mesh and here mesh so here first i will create a data so here to create data i am going to copy this and paste it here so normally when we go to insert the data into the database we use this way you already are familiar with it but without using this way i could use another way that is student create in this way we can straight pass the attributes into the create and those attributes will be inserted into the database if you run this so here i am just going to make it off and here what i can do i can just here give name name has a value for example john this is the new student for example so email email equals to john at the rate of gmail.com there is as as is for record to for example 30 and another one is country for example italy if i just run this one what is going to be happen let's check it so student mass now if i go here you will see that this student is inserted here these are inserted here because what i did i used the protected guarded so as guarded empty that means automatically all the fields that i used here are fillable but if i make this one i want to use here another one for example brent uh, like this and here is 32 italy okay now if i refresh you see that it is actually not possible because these attributes are not fillable and if these attributes are not fillable you will not be able to create a student like this way this is not possible because there is no fillable data so to make the name attribute fillable or email fillable or other attributes fillable i can use two way that is this one that i already shown you that guard is empty means all other things that means all other are automatically fillable but if you want you can also tell here which attributes will be fillable for example i can give all the attributes here name email is country you can assign like that so now if i go here refresh now it is working if you refresh you see that this eight is student number eight id number eight student comes here so two ways you can just pass everything here or just make it off but if you do not give anything in fillable then you will have to tell that here it will be guarded now if i make this four attributes fillable or uh, but the last one i use here like this i do not want that a person just change country using fillable i do not want like that so here you can use the country here now if you try to insert this country using the create what will happen now go here refresh you see it is not possible because the country does not have a default value why because it is not possible because this country i use as guarded so anyway i hope you have understood the logic behind it and you got a primary idea how to work with the fillable and guard that means how to work with the mass assignment if you want you can use the same thing to update the information for example i am going to show you that also so that you can understand so guarded empty that means all other fillable so all are fillable now so here i can do one thing that is here for example a student right so a student find i will update where the id equal to one for example so find one means i am going to search by the id equal to one and i just put it into an object or into a variable here i can use the student no problems so student variable i put it so here i will have to write a student update here just call like that update and now i am going to update the student number one who is was smith so here um, mr smith mr smith 
here for example is meet one one at that of gmail.com and two information i am going to update not the other two so email and name so now i am going here refresh and now if i refresh here you see that the email is updated and the name is updated that means it is working so mass assignment you can use in the case of inserting any data into the table or in the case of updating the data in a table.